Thank you for choosing the Supermax 1938 Combo Sander. In this video, we'll show you how to switch out the brush head to the sanding head and level the conveyor table and adjust the tension rollers. So let's get started. First, we'll need to remove these carriage bolts and nut combos, um, the mounting brackets for the brush head. So we'll go ahead and do that. We'll take off the nut and bolt combos and we'll do that for both sides. So we'll get the uh, far end first and then we'll repeat the process for the other side. Now once those are removed, we can take a look at the set screws on the spider coupler. And you'll take an Allen wrench and just loosen those little set screws up that are right there. We've already done this, and there's about the right amount of gap that you'll have between the spider coupler and the, um, and the head. So you can take a flathead screwdriver and sort of slip it in that crevice, and just push that part of the coupler back, just like that. and then we can see that there's a little bit of gap there. That gives us some room to work. Now what we want to do is we want to move this bracket. We've already moved the other bracket to the back of the coupler. And we'll go ahead and just sort of lift up in a, just like that. And in case it's a little sticky, sometimes you need to use a small tap with a screwdriver just to release that mount a little bit from the bearing. And then you just lift straight up and pull that right on out of there. So it's a good idea to keep these mounting brackets together with the, uh, with the brush head. So we'll take those out and just sort of put it in there with that assembly. And as you can see here, there's a removable part here on the spider coupler that we'll take off and we'll use that when we mount the other head. Now these heads should be stored um, upright like this um, you might need to build a mounting uh, bracket on the bottom if you want to hold it upright. And then you can also take out these brush heads. Uh, they're removable so all of them can come out. And it's not a good idea to lay it down on uh, its horizontal position. So here's the parts we'll need to install the sanding head. And what we'll do is just grab our sanding head, put it on the table and block it with a little wedge there. And we'll clean off that end really well from dust and debris and we'll take our coupler and also the key and let's put the key in first so we'll insert the key into the slot right there onto that sanding head and then we'll take the coupler and make sure that the set screws are backed off enough so that they're not obstructing the center of that that uh, that coupler so just loosen those up a little bit and um, sort of run your finger on the inside to make sure they're not protruding. And now we'll go ahead and slip that into position. You'll see where it fits on the key right there. And we'll back it into position. And there is a mark um, on this shaft of this head. And that little mark, you don't want it to be, you want it to be right about like there. And that's about the same width as the uh, Allen screw uh, Allen wrench that we're using. So yeah, just go ahead and tighten those things down really good in that position and you'll be good to go. We also want to make sure that the um, coupler is tightened down really well. So go ahead and get those set screws tightened up there on the coupler. Now you'll want to reverse the head and sort of bring the shaft of the end down to the other side of the table there and block it up again. And you'll see where there's also a mark on this. So we'll, we'll go ahead and clean that part off, get all the dust and debris off, and we'll grab our bearing mount on the inside. And then we'll also grab our bearing and we'll uh, back those set screws off of that bearing a little bit, just like we did for the coupler and slide that into position and it should be just about flush with the end of that shaft and there's also a mark there at the end that you should not go over so go ahead and tighten those uh, set screws down really well and when that's done we can grab the uh, rubber part of the spider coupler that gasket part and slide it into position 
and go ahead and press fit that into place and it should look about like that. And then we'll go ahead and mount this head. So we'll take the mounting bracket for the rear and just sort of drop it in the back side of that coupler. And that's about the orientation that you'll be seeing. Um, you want it to go kind of vertical straight up and down like you see there. And then we'll take the other part on the head and we'll go ahead and slide that into the place. And you can see where this um, mounting bracket is sort of vertical. So it makes it easier to sort of put in and get into place if it's straight up and down like that. So we'll go ahead and slide that into position and then just drop it down into place. And you'll see where that um, mounting bracket sticks a little bit on the front. So in order to fix that, you can see where it's sort of uh, a little sticky right there. So all we need to do is just sort of tap that in place with a screwdriver butt head and just sort of drop it down and move it into position. And now we can move the rear part of the mounting bracket back into place. So we'll just sort of move that in and then we can um, put the screws in. Now you also want to um, take that coupler and take a screwdriver and just sort of wedge it back into place so you have the correct amount of, of gappage there. And go ahead and you can see where that's about what it should look like when it goes in. Make sure you tighten those set screws down, okay? So we've already done ours, but remember to tighten yours down. Okay, now we can put the carriage bolts back in and tighten everything up. And it's a good idea to leave everything a little bit loose. Just go ahead and finger tighten these, um, these bolts, these carriage bolts with the nuts. And then when we tighten them down, we'll alternate back and forth a little bit on each one as we, as we tighten them down. So we'll get everything sort of in place and then just alternate a little bit as you're tightening those, those down. Okay, so we're now ready to um, level our conveyor table. And to do that, you should first disengage the fast lever, and then we'll loosen all the screws for the tension roller bars. So just go ahead and do that. There's a um, Allen screw on each end, on both the front and the back. So we'll loosen all those up really good first. And then we'll lift up a little bit on those bars and sort of get them out of the way. So you can see here, we'll lift up and then go ahead and tighten them down in that up position and that'll keep them out of the way of the drum. So once we do that, you'll see where there's enough room for just the drum and their roller tension bars are out of the way. So we can now just work with that. So we'll go ahead and take the paper off. So you can go ahead and undo the paper. And then as you're taking it off, just roll it up in a roll and then you can put it on exactly the same way you uh, took it off. For the next step, you'll want to find two boards that are uh, the equal thickness. And these two have an equal thickness, and I'm going to slide those in underneath there. And we'll lower the head till it just touches the surface of those, those boards. And you'll find that if you roll the head a little bit as you lower it, you just sort of roll that and then back off just a little bit after it uh, has some resistance there. So we'll back that off just a little bit and then you'll feel it release and move a little bit and that's just about the perfect position to start uh, leveling our table. So we'll do that first. Now you can see here we're on one side, on the right side it looks perfect, but on the left side we see a lot of gap. So we want to close that gap up, and there it is. You can see a pretty, pretty major gap. So let's take care of that. First thing you want to do is just release, uh, just unscrew the top mounting um, screws that hold the conveyor table to the base, and then we'll um, loosen up all of the Allen screws underneath there, and just give those a good loosening. And then we'll take a uh, wrench and just sort of go clockwise and that will move the table surface upward. And so we'll give that some clockwise turns and you'll see as those turn, it goes right up and touches the drum. And now we can tighten everything back down. So we'll go from the top screws first and we'll tighten those down. And then on the side, we'll tighten down 
all of those Allen screws. Okay, and the last part of the process is to remove those boards and reinstall the paper onto the drum head. And then we'll put one of those boards back in underneath that head. And then we're gonna lower this sanding head until it just touches that board. And by moving it back and forth, you'll hear it scratch a little bit, and then you're good to go. So then all we need to do is release those roller tension bars from the up position and we'll let them drop back down on top of that board. And the final adjustment is to raise the head by three and a half revolutions upward. And that will let those uh, roller tension bars drop down a little bit. And once we do that, we can tighten up these roller bars and they'll have the perfect amount of tension to hold your boards down and easily move through that conveyor table. So we hope this video has been helpful and if you need any more information about any of our machines, you can find us at supermaxtools.com.